What is going on guys? I am back with part 2 on how to build this go-kart track and I plan on finishing the build in this video which includes the final details to the track itself along with the landscaping and the building. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start cutting out all the grass so we could fill it in with a bunch of gray concrete. But before we do that, I want to hurry up and do the bridge with gray concrete so you know exactly how to do this. And then I'll start cutting out all the grass. So for the bridge, you want to place two blocks of gray concrete right here for the first layer. So it's going to be aligned with the two blocks that you've already placed. And now you want to place another row of two like this right above that and then you want to place a row of three so as you can tell we are just one block we have like a total of one block showing before we have the layer of gray concrete so now i'm going to then also you can see that i'm just covering up this layer of white concrete with the gray concrete so i'm going to fill all of this in and then I'm going to go back down to the other side and fill that in. And then I'm going to cut out all the grass and once again fill it in with gray concrete. And I'll show you exactly which parts to cut out as soon as I cut it out. Because um, it could be a little bit confusing to tell which part is the track and which part is not the track. So for example, if I go up right now, uh, you might be confused a little bit. Maybe the sections that are opened in the middle that isn't going to be the track you might be confused for that being the track so i'm going to cut out all the grass and show you exactly which parts to cut out and then i will fill it in with gray concrete so i got the last layer right here okay and then yeah i'm going to start cutting out all this grass and if i were you i would recommend using a potion of swiftness to get it done faster if you are playing on console so that's what i'm going to do and as soon as I get this done, I will then begin on or start on with the next step. Okay, so I went around and cut out all the blocks that needed to be cut out. You can easily see it where the blocks are still dead, but I actually just noticed it's a little bit hard to see for the grass blocks that have already grown back. So I just, um, here I'll go. I'll start over here at the bridge. I just went through here and just went straight through. You basically just follow the path. Uh, also keep in mind, make sure to cut out the blocks within this little shape here. And yeah, you just stay within the, uh, the track basically. You don't go outside of it and you should be good. Keep in mind, we are still going to be cutting out all the grass within these little sections here as well but i just want to let you know which space is actually going to be filled in with gray concrete because these spaces here are going to be filled in with a different block so so now that i've cut out all that grass i'm then going to use my gray concrete to fill all that in and then that will be the track keep in mind we still have to delete all these white concrete blocks at least most of them and then we're going to be we're going to be uh, replacing them with a pattern between white and red concrete, which makes the border of the track. So yeah, I'm going to be using my Potion of Swiftness again, and then I'll fill all this in, and I'll see you guys as soon as I got it done. Okay, so I just finished filling in all the gray concrete, so you can see the track a lot better now, and it should be looking like this. Okay, now I'm going to go around and delete any of the white concrete that we actually need to delete. So I'm going to go over to the original build and show you exactly what I did. So I left up some white concrete as you can see right here on the wide outer turns and stuff. So those outer turns there and outer turn there as well as there. So they're going to act as like guardrails for each turn. So basically since the track is going in this direction uh and you turn it like that that's going to be a guardrail in case you overturn you'll just hit that instead of flying off the track so then you're going this way we got another one there it's not necessary to have one here because that's uh that's an inner turn so you could like cut straight across right there and then we have another one here just in case if you overturn 
So I'm just gonna delete all the necessary blocks. Oh, I missed a spot right here. Hang on. So for example, let's see. Let me just start at the bridge right here. We're gonna keep this big turn. So I'm just gonna delete all of these blocks here until the edge of the uh, bridge right there. So I'm also going to delete all the blocks on the inside of this turn because this is the inner side. We don't need any blocks here. But we will need blocks right there, so I'm gonna keep these until we still have three blocks right there. And then I'll also delete all these. So I will just delete all of them that are necessary and then I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly what I did. So I'll hurry up, let me uh, delete the rest of these and I'll show you what this turn should look like. Even though I just showed you on the other build, the original one, but maybe it's a little easier to see with nothing around it. So this is what the, uh, the rail, the guard rail on this turn is looking like. And then we have this little one here. We're going to have another little one there. So it's just right on the turn for each outer turn. So for this inner turn right here, we could just delete all these. So yeah, I'm just going to do all of that. Keep in mind, leave this middle section up as well as these outer edges here. So I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I carve out all the rest of these blocks. And as soon as I carve out all of them, I'm then going to have a pattern between white and red concrete. That's just going to be like this stripe that goes around the track for the necessary spots. So for example, right here for the inner turn there. So let me just go ahead and get all this done and I'll show you guys what it should look like as soon as I got it done. Okay, so I went around and deleted any necessary blocks, so it should look something like this. So I just have the white concrete on most of the turns, just the outer turns. And yeah, so now I'm going to use white concrete and red concrete to cut out around the edge of the gray concrete. So real quick, I'll just go and start right here. I'm going to delete all these blocks and I'm just going to cut around this gray concrete like that and now let's see i'll have red white red white just a pattern like that throughout the entire edge of the track okay like that so now i'm just gonna do that everywhere else make sure to get the inner corners as well and all the inner stuff and i'll show you exactly what it should look like as soon as i got mine done so I'm going to go through and do all of that and I'll be back as soon as I get it done. Okay, so this is what my track is looking like as of right now. And obviously you guys don't have to have it exactly like mine, but overall it should be looking something like this. And before I forget, let's go ahead and do the finish line. And one thing I want to mention is just make sure the red is aligned with the red on the opposite side as well as the white is aligned with the white for the finish line to actually look the way that it should. So just in case if yours are off center then just switch out the colors on this one since it is a lot smaller. So basically just if you have red right here then switch it to white. If you have white right here and it doesn't align then switch it to red you know. So yeah overall just make sure you have your red matched up with the red on the opposite side. And now I'm going to have my finish line right, a, right around here. And then basically I'm going to place or carve out every other block. As well as right next to it and then right here again. So kind of like a checkered pattern. And then we're just going to fill that in with white concrete. And that is all there is to it for the finish line but overall this is what our track is looking like and i guess we could go ahead and start doing the landscaping now okay so now for the landscaping the blocks you're going to need is coarse dirt podzol oak sapling glass and oak leaves you'll see why we need the glass here in a second but overall we're not going to be using any of these any of these as of right now the first thing we're going to start doing is just cutting out all the grass 
so if you do start cutting out all the grass in the middle just know that it is going to be like uh here this i think this is just all closed up actually okay no it goes out to right here so as you can see it does go out on the edge so basically what we're going to be doing is just cutting out blocks all the way around the track so i'll go over here and show you show you exactly what i did so i just went around and cut out however many blocks all the way around the track like this and then we still got to put the building and stuff but then i have like the same style in the middle and as you can see it goes out right here and then i basically just wrap it around the track so um yeah i guess i'm just gonna do that i actually uh i still gotta do the building and we actually put the uh the landscaping around the building so just be sure to stop it like right around here um when you're cutting out the dirt actually you know what yeah just cut all the way around because we still gotta cut out and replace it with um clay right there so so i'll just cut around this entire track and yeah i'll just show you exactly what it looks like when i got it done so i'm just gonna start somewhere in the middle like over here and i would recommend using a potion of swiftness if you are once again playing on console so yeah as soon as i have this done i'll show you exactly what it looks like and then we could begin doing the actual landscaping Okay guys, so I cut out all the grass around the area and I'm about to go around the edge and I'll say, show you exactly how I'm going to do that. So let me just finish doing this little bit right here. And I'm basically just going to randomly do it. I'm just going to start uh, moving around and mining at the same time. So basically just like this. And I'm just going to randomize it, bring it out uh, a decent amount. So let me see what we got here. Let me delete all this stuff in the middle and see exactly what I did. Okay, uh, let's delete some of that. So something like that, all right? All the way around as soon, er, as soon as you like, what am I trying to say? All the way around until you get back to like this side or whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And as soon as I got that done, we'll start filling it all in and yeah then we could do the building and i believe that's the last thing so we got this landscaping stuff and then the building and then we are oh the go-karts i forgot about those those are really simple um they look a little weird because the tires aren't actually attached to the cart but uh, it gets the point across i still think it looks like a go-kart so yeah um those shouldn't really take too long it should it's literally gonna take like 30 seconds to show you how to do that uh but overall i'm gonna continue doing this and i'll see you guys as soon as i got it done okay guys so as soon as you get to this little opening right here uh, i accidentally started mining this until i realized uh this is where the building's gonna be so don't I mean, I guess you could still mine it, but keep in mind, we are going to have the building here, so you don't have to make it all crazy and detailed like that. Not really detailed, it's just random. But overall, um, I got about halfway, so I just gotta continue going around right there. But uh, yeah, just keep in mind, this is where the building's gonna be, so you don't necessarily have to do that, have to do that part. So I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so I went all the way around and carved out dirt, <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to replace it with coarse dirt. Uh, it looks a little bit better than just grass, so I'm going to do that, and then as soon as I fill that all in with coarse dirt, I'm going to cut out a couple blocks here and there and fill it in with podzol, so we kind of have a little texture uh, to the to the uh, landscaping portion uh keep in mind not to fill this area in with coarse dirt or anything so uh basically let me just grab some uh clay and we'll just fill this in just so you know not to fill it in with the coarse dirt so i'm just gonna bring it out maybe like one two three four five i guess uh that should be good doesn't really matter it's just a little uh path out to the track so i guess five blocks should be good then we're gonna have the building right there 
And uh, yeah, so just all the dirt that you went around and cut out, just fill in with coarse dirt. And as soon as I got that done, I will show you how I'm going to do the mixture between the pods and the coarse dirt. And then I also have some bushes that we could add a bunch of detail with along with some of the saplings. Okay, so I went around and filled in all that empty space with some coarse dirt. And now I'm going to cut out some random holes within the coarse dirt and replace it with podzol. So we have a little bit of texture into the ground. And we just like add more detail to it. So I'm going to do something like this. Okay, and then all these holes are going to be filled in with podzol. Okay, so I got something like this as of right now. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill all these holes in with Podzel. And I am going to use the potion again because it'll make it a lot faster. Okay, so I went around and filled in all those empty holes with Podzel. So it should look something like this. Just adds a little bit more texture and detail. But uh, now you could use your oak leaves and start placing a bunch of bushes everywhere. I'm not going to completely do this. Uh, but I will show you exactly what you should do. And then you can go ahead and do it all the way around. So for example, we got this area right here. And every once in a while you could just have one bush like this. And then you could also have two stacked up on top of each other every once in a while. So if I go back here, I'll place two on there, two there, two there. So basically just a mixture a mixture of those all the way around. I'll probably go to the other side, the original build, and show you exactly what I did. But overall, just go through like this and just place some bushes. But uh, I'm not going to completely do this throughout the entire thing again. So I'll just go over here and show you exactly what mine looks like on this side. It's based, literally, not even basically, literally the same exact thing that I just showed you. Just two bushes every once in a while, and then a single one. And uh, that's really all I did for the landscaping. I didn't add any flowers or anything. And uh, then we have the big trees. Now, apparently, if you put a glass block next to your oak sapling and then start growing your tree, then um, it makes, it normally makes a big tree. So I'm going to place it in the corner right there. And then I'm also going to grab some bone meal. Aw, oh, dang, I thought that was a big one. But overall, uh, I'm just going to get big trees like those over there. And as soon as I got that, I'll show you guys um, what it looks like, even though it's just going to be big trees. Uh, let me see if I can do it now. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so yeah, I'll do this off camera. And then the last thing left to do is the building and then the go-karts. Alright guys, I actually think I just remembered what my problem is. Uh, so the block, the glass block is supposed to be a block up in the air. So just in case if you want to try this yourself, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be floating like that. Then I put the sapling, and let me see if that works. There we go. Yeah, then you could adjust the leaves if you want. Okay, that, I forgot, I had to have it floating like that. Uh, I'm going to have another one right here. So we'll put that and then, uh, yeah, that's good. So I have that floating and then bone mail. Let's see. All right, there we go. We got another one. How's that? Yeah, and then patch up the leaves if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to have another one here. Cool. We got it, uh, like exactly how we want it. All right. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the building. So I got some light gray concrete, gray concrete, black stained glass pane, quartz stairs, dark oak wood stairs, and then quartz slab. So I'm going to start out with my light gray concrete, and let's just place six blocks here. So it should be the length of the path. So we got six, and then we want a total of 34 or 24. So uh, we got six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 
And then on the corner, we want to place a gray concrete block. So I, uh, I'll count the blocks on each side. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of light gray starting from the edge of this. So starting right there as well as eight on that side. And then we got the corner filled in with uh, regular gray concrete. And then uh, we're also going to have 12 going back. So we got one right there two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then the corner is going to be filled in with gray concrete and now we can just wrap this all the way around so we have a rectangular shape and we can cut out the holes for the doorways oh let's uh patch that up there we go so the front or the back doorway is going to be right where this path is so two uh, spaces there and lined up at the front as well. So that's gonna be the front. Oh, there's the hospital again I think it looks really good. I think you guys are gonna like that but um, yeah, then uh, We're gonna have some windows, but as of right now, this is the foundation of the building So it's going to be 24 blocks from left to right in total and then from front to back It's going to be a total of 12 Okay, now let's start doing the windows so I'm going to have two blocks here. I'm going to skip two, have two, skip two, and then have two. So window's going to be there and there. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So two blocks, skip two, two blocks, skip two, and two blocks. Okay, and then let's go ahead and bring this up. We got one, two, three, four. So it's going to be in total one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in total. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these spaces. Okay, I'm going to cover up the top. And then the windows are going to be uh, four blocks in height. Oh, I forgot that space. So I guess we'll just use our black stained glass panes and fill all of this in. Sorry if I am going a little fast on the building. It is a pretty simple building and overall you guys could do your own design if you'd like. It's literally just a rectangle building as of right now. And then we're going to have a little porch or like overhang area. So this is what it's looking like as of right now. And uh, I'm also going to need some dark oak wood fences for the door. So let's cover that up. The door is going to be four blocks in height. And then on this side, we'll just place some panes. Skip the middle block there and replace it with a dark oak fence. Okay, let's bring these corners up with the gray concrete. And we're also just going to bring this all up one more block so it makes it easier to do the roof. Okay. And now on the sides, there should be two blocks here. Skip two, two blocks, skip two, and two blocks. The same design as the front. And let's go ahead and bring this pillar up in the corner. And then we'll bring all this light gray concrete up. And then we're also going to be doing the same windows in the back. Well, actually, this is basically the front of the building, but the same windows that we did here is going to be here as well as the door so it's basically just the entire building is like symmetrical everything about the building is the same and then the interior is actually really really simple i didn't put too much into it overall i just didn't really know what exactly you would have in a go-kart um building besides maybe i have some helmets and then maybe just like the cash register that's really all i have um but yeah I'm going to continue doing the building. It's very simple. So two blocks here, skip two, two blocks here, skip two, and two blocks. Just match it up with the other side that we already did. And make sure to to uh, cover up two layers at the top. And then I believe three layers in the middle for the door. And I'll go ahead. Here, let's fill these sides in. We go ahead and do the doorway. And then we could just, uh, we'll have it on the left side here. Whoops. Okay. Fill these spaces in. 
as well as this side and then we still have to do that last side here so i'll do that so yeah i am going like extremely fast right now but it's a really simple building and um overall you guys don't have to have it exactly like mine you guys don't even need to have the building if you don't want it but it just adds extra detail to the uh the go-kart track but if you do just want the go-kart track which i know most of you guys watching this probably only want that then basically you don't even need the building so yeah um it's very simple you guys can see what i'm doing it's not too hard to follow even though i'm barely even showing what i'm doing but i'll do an entire showcase of the building after i have it done like a full cinematic basically i'll go around like this actually so um it's just a big rectangle 12 blocks on the sides and 24 blocks in total on the uh front and back so all the way around just like this okay and uh did we get every spot okay so now i'm going to have some triangle shapes on the side so starting right here we'll delete that because we are going to have the little overhang here and let me see yeah so then we're going to start bringing this up like this just like a triangle shape and the middle point is going to be the gray concrete blocks oh come on so on the left side of that that's where the middle point is going to be and then we're going to start bringing it back down on this side so just an upside down stair and a regular one back and forth like this okay and then the middle we're just going to fill in with upside down court stairs like that and then the empty space behind the uh the triangle shape is just gonna be just gonna be filled in with light gray concrete okay so it should look like that and now i'm gonna do the same thing on this side Okay, we got that. Let's do the bottom and then we could fill the rest in with light gray concrete. And then I'll do the uh, the little overhang. And then I'll fill in the rest of the empty space with dark oak wood stairs. And then we could do the interior. Okay, oh yeah, let's uh, bring this side. This is the front side. Bring this all the way across. Oh, hang on. And I also had just a little um, gray concrete uh four gray concrete blocks above the front door right there just to add more detail looks like a little cover for maybe like the rain or something okay even though we have that but it adds more detail all right and uh let's go back here and i have my uh let's actually see real quick yeah i have my quartz slab we have a little bit of a weird shape for this yeah so be sure to just grab your gray concrete and bring a pillar up right here lined up with that one and make sure it's the same height and then we'll have another one here and then one more here so just in the corner of each one of these uh concrete blocks so yeah it should be looking like that we'll do the same thing on this side so lined up with there bring it up until we're the same height as that one okay and now we can start doing the little overhang so i got some quartz slabs i'm just gonna wrap these all the way around oh hang on we need to let me see what did i do here um i believe i did this yeah 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 okay so this quartz is actually going to be brought along here and just wrapped around the pillars Oh, hang on. We gotta bring this in right here. And then out. And 
wrapped around here. So we're gonna have a cool little shape to the overhang. Let me f uh, fix that. There we go. Like that. And now on top of that, I'm gonna place some quartz slabs. Okay. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is here real quick, we could use our gray con actually, no, I'm going to use blocks of quartz to fill in the space right here. So just lined up with the quartz stairs, you can fill all of this in underneath here. So I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so I filled all that space in. So underneath, it's just gonna be some quartz. And uh, now, on top of this, oh, I never got a, uh, I need a dark oak wood slab. So first we'll do the, uh, the stair part first. So all you wanna do is just match up the dark oak wood stairs along with the quartz stairs. So I'm gonna do that on this side then, and then I'm gonna bring it down on the back side, or basically the front side. And, um, Real quick, let me hurry up and do the... Here, I'll continue doing this and then I'll do what I was about to do. So I'm going to continue doing this roof. Okay, so I did all of that. And now we could use our dark oak wood slabs to fill in all this space and actually we don't need this layer of stairs here because that's just going to be covered up by the slabs so starting right here we could go ahead and just fill this all in with dark oak wood slabs so half a block above the court slabs Okay, so I covered that all up, so it's looking like this. And I believe that's basically everything on the exterior. So for the front right here, I'm going to have another clay path. So I'll just get rid of the dark oak fence. And um, it's going to be six blocks wide again. And then we'll just bring it out five blocks. And keep in mind, we still have to put some of the landscaping around the uh the building okay so we have that and now for this um oh hang on this should not be all the way in here this is all going to be um clay so you could delete all this So you can just push it back until the edge right there. So like the edge of the building. And then you could just continue deleting the rest of this grass. And let me actually just get a night vision potion. It's pretty dark. So you can see what I'm actually doing. Alright, there. We're going to continue deleting all of this. And then I'll fill it in with clay. Okay, so I filled all that in, and now for this um, landscaping part, I'm not going to actually do it, but just do the same thing, but wrap it around the building up until you reach this uh, path here, and then you can just stop it and then start it on this side again and just wrap it all the way around until you meet up with the uh, blocks on this side. And then you can just put your bushes around there. And uh, let me see, are we forgetting anything? I think we just have to do the interior now. Okay, uh, you could also put some sea lanterns in the ceiling right here for the little overhang. So I'll do that. So I have one, maybe like right around here, just right behind the pillars. And that should be good. It might be a little dark, but uh, it sh it's overall, you, sh you, uh, <laughs> you still should be able to see. My bad. 
So let me cover all this up with iron trap doors. So that should be good. And now I'm going to do the interior. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut out all of this grass. And I'll fill it in with clay because that's what we have on the outside. So we're going to carve all this out and replace it with clay. Okay, so I cut out all the grass and now I'm just going to replace it with clay like this. Okay, so I fill that all in and now I'm going to do the ceilings with blocks of quartz. So starting right here just two blocks above the windows i'm going to just start filling this all in to the other side okay so i finished doing the ceiling as well and now i'm going to start doing the desks so on this side i'm just going to be right on the edge of this window and i'm just gonna bring some gray concrete along up until right there so then i'm also going to fill in um let's see two space three spaces on each side uh yeah and then i'm gonna put a quartz stair like that so that's gonna be the chair and then i'm also going to have another one there to act as a register as well um yeah so that should be good and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Oh, before I forget, let me put a dark oak wood. Ah, oh, dang it. Dark oak wood uh, gate right there. I got rid of my gray concrete. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. So just two desks. And they'll be filling three. We'll have a chair there as well as a cash register. Maybe we could... Whoops, put a chair like that and like that. There we go. So uh, that acts as like a little high chair. So a stair facing this direction and then a stair facing that direction. Okay, that's better. Let's do that on this side as well. What? There we go. Okay. And then the middle, all I did was have a little circular table and I just put some, uh, not really player heads, but the skeleton heads and creeper heads on top of it to act as helmets. So I'm going to have two blocks lined up with that door right there, about three blocks away from it. We'll fill this in and then this. So we got a shape like that. We'll fill in the corners here. So we got a 4x4 four four square, and then I'll fill in the sides like this. Okay, so now we have a little circular table, something like that. That should be good. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a skeleton skull, wither skull, zombie head, and a creeper skull. And just basically place a couple here, here. Uh, like this and that so those are going to act as helmets and we could have another one like right there okay so that's cool so there we go that is it oh we still got to put these sea lanterns in the ceiling so i get some sea lanterns and some iron trap doors gonna put them um, right about here and after i do this then we have the go-karts and then we are done. Here, let me uh, move these in to about right there. Let me patch that up. So I got them um, uh, five blocks apart. Okay, I'm going to cover these all up with iron trap doors. And then we could head on outside. It should be lit up enough in here. 
I'm not really too worried about it. It's a little bit dark. You could put carpet on the ground right here if you wanted to. Or like put sea lanterns in the floor and then cover it up with carpet. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. It's no big deal. Okay. I think we got everything now. So. Yeah, the last thing left is the go-karts. Alright, so for the go-karts, you're going to need a slab, a rail, mine cart, and then a wither skeleton skull along with a stair. It doesn't matter what block you use. As you can see, I'm going to be using acacia wood, quartz, and birch wood. So, I'm going to have a car right about here crossing the finish line. So, I'm going to place the skeleton skull here, 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 and here. So, one block apart. And I actually have them the face on the inside just... Uh, just so you don't see the face on the outside with the, uh, like that. It looks a little bit better with just the back side. It looks like an actual tire. And then I'm going to pl place a rail on the ground and a minecart. And then let's go ahead and use acacia. So I'm going to put a slab there and a stair. And that is it. So from far away, it looks like a go-kart. Now the, uh, the skulls aren't actually touching, but... Those could- you could act like there's gears here and stuff, you know? Like springs. And, um, it looks like a, a go-kart. I think it looks just like one, and you could sit in it. So yeah, I think, uh, it gets the point across. You could easily tell that's a go-kart. So I'm gonna put another one back here. I'll go a little bit slower. So we're gonna put a rail, a minecart, and then a skull here, 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 and here. And then we'll use birch, a birch wood slab, and then a stair. That's all there is to it. Very, very simple. Literally like 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. And then if you want them facing this direction, uh, you can't place the mine cart or the mine rail like on the other side. So you have to place it next to each other and then it automatically turns it like that. So you can face it that direction. Because if we just left it like that, put the mine cart then the minecart is going to be sideways. So you have to place another rail next to it to straighten it out. And so I'm going to use quartz on this one. And yeah. That's it guys. That's really all there is to this uh, go-kart track tutorial. Tutorial on how to build a go-kart track. And if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Keep my head up when I act, head up that's a fact, never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track, keep my head up staying strong, always moving on, feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along, push myself to be the best, die with no regrets, live with every breath, see my message start to spread, and I have to